A pyramid is a three-dimensional figure that has one base and its lateral faces are all triangles. So this pyramid, if you folded it flat, would have that square base and then if you unfolded those lateral faces, it would be four different triangles. So the number of lateral faces is equal to the number of sides of the base. So if your base has four sides, then you're gonna have four of these triangles that make up your lateral faces. If your base has five sides, if it's a pentagon, it's gonna have those five triangles coming off of it. Um, the formula for finding the lateral surface area is one half times P, which is still the perimeter of the base. So you'd add up all the sides of the base. But then we have this new element, L. And L is your slant height. So your height is what goes from the vertex of the pyramid. So the very top of the pyramid where those lateral faces meet goes from the top of the pyramid straight through the middle like you're skewering it like a shish kebab and it goes straight through the middle until it hits the center of the base. So your height and your base make a right angle. Well, your slant height is along the lateral face. So your slant height, you can think of it as like the height of this triangle, the height of the lateral face. These are slant heights. So it's literally, if, you, if it's folded up, if your pyramid's folded up, your slant height is slanted. So what we have right here is a right triangle. And so we can use Pythagorean theorem if we are given the height and this length and we wanna figure out what the slant height is or vice versa. Um, so your lateral surface area is one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So then your total surface area is just going to be whatever you got for your lateral surface area, and then you're just gonna add in the area of the base. Remember, lateral surface area is everything not including the base, so all of those triangles. And then your total surface area, you're just going to add in whatever the area of your base is. So in this example, we wanna find the lateral and total surface area of this square pyramid. So notice, I know the height is nine and this is my slant height so my slant height l is 11. but what i don't know i don't know this this length of the base i can't i can't find the area of the base because i don't know the side lengths of that square base so if i'm thinking about this little pink right triangle right here i know one of my legs i don't know this leg i'm gonna call it x and I know the hypotenuse. So I can set up Pythagorean theorem. 9 squared plus x squared equals 11 squared. x squared is going to be 11 squared minus 9 squared. 40. So x is the square root of 40, which is 6.32455. So that is this piece right here. So if this is a square, I can just double it to get that whole side length. So these are all the same length. Um, so if X is 6.32455, I'm just gonna multiply that by two. So my side length is 12.6491. So the perimeter of my base is, well, it has four sides and those four sides are all equal since it's a square. So it's 12.6491. So the perimeter of the base is 50.5964. And so the lateral surface area is just gonna be one half, sorry, the two, one half times the perimeter of the base, which we just figured out was 50.5964 five nine six four times the slant height which is eleven one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height which gives you two hundred and seventy eight point three so that's your lateral surface area
is squared. And then your total surface area, you're just going to take that lateral surface area and then you're going to add the area of the base. So the area of the base is just a square length times width. So 12.649 times 12.649. So the area of that base is 160. So your total surface area, you're just going to take your lateral surface area and add the area of that base to it. So I'm going to take the lateral surface area, 278.3, I'm going to add the area of the base, which is 160, to get my total surface area to be 438.3 inches squared.